everybody, it's Cindy and I'm back from Preston Comic Con and it was a really good day and it's kind of restored my faith in conventions for this year so yay! It was the first one all year where I've actually done better than previous years so yeah and I actually made some profit woohoo! Um, but I thought I'd give a quick look at my two suitcases and how everything's packed up just because I'm about to like go through everything and count everything and update Etsy and all that so yeah I've got this little suitcase here oh, I'm out of breath I just dragged them upstairs <laughs> but yeah I've got this little suitcase and it's mainly just um, display stuff so like wires well some display stuff like a little box of goodies I have my mini originals in here and some stock things just little things that would fit um, like coasters and key rings and bookmarks and stickers and my mini originals and my clearance A3 prints but yeah it's mainly little things that I didn't want to put in the big one because this big one is really heavy so I was like if it can fit in the little one it goes in there because this one is actually really light so that's cool and um, then the big one hold on yeah the big one it has I've used my two tablecloths as like padding and I have like all my badges, spare badges and bags so they were neat when I put them in but you know they slide everywhere oh there's one, one down there, which I'll get later but yeah so it's like all the badges and then I have the frames uh, my sticker display then my boxes of badges and then also my metal grates so they're all there and then I have my uh, big box of prints and that actually has a lot of stuff in it that I wanted to be like nice and protected so my two canvases I even have my banner in there and then there's like my display prints and it actually it works out really well because this fits and the metal grates and these fit all together and they're like the heaviest thing so yeah and it's quite cool and the the bed sheets as padding just make sure that nothing like wiggles around and gets damaged so because I was worried about having my frames in there and they look like they've survived so that's cool so yeah it was nice and neat no it's not <laughs> I just thought I'd show you my suitcases because I'm really chuffed with how they turned out and they were really easy to push the this one the big one was really heavy but it wasn't too bad. It's been heavier. <laughs> but like I said, everything that can fit in the little one oops, goes in the little one because that is like super light at the minute. But yeah. Cool. Okay. Gotta like sort this stuff out and then Nottingham Comic Con is in two weekends, I think. And I really have to plan out my table for that because I only have a four foot table I think. And I can't remember the last time I had a four foot table. Don't think I've ever had a four foot table. So, yeah, this should be fun. <laughs> but I need to double check that. So, yeah. Sort this out. So, I just had a kind of an inkling regarding the four foot table. I kind of thought that my banner was four foot long. And I thought, well, that would be great for planning it out if it is four foot. Because then I can kind of use this as my table area marked out kind of thing um, and it is it's exactly four foot long and it's just over two foot deep high um, I think up to about here is two foot I can't remember but if my table is four foot by I'm assuming like two foot it's usually tables are usually two foot deep um, I can use this as my like area to plan out my display <laughs> that'd be cool I remember getting ordering this banner to be four foot um, long wow <laughs> it's Sunday um, yeah I remember doing the measurements to be four foot long so that if I ever did get a four foot table it would fill the entire front um, and like tables are usually six foot long so it would have like a nice foot on each side that my tablecloth would show um, wow my brain is not working but yeah I just need to remember, like, find out how wide, long, deep 
Wow. <laughs> I just need to find out the exact measurements that my table's going to be. Because I think it's four foot by two. If that's true, my banner has just become my floor plan. So that'll be cool, but I need to find out first. So, yay! So I've finished sorting everything out um, from my suitcases and I'm just packaging up an order that I got on Friday. Um, it's a Gwen print and I popped in a couple of freebies and I'm excited because it's the first time I get to use my new cardboard envelopes that are like stiff. <laughs> Stiff mailers, rigid mailers, whatever they're called. Um, I hope they're like strong enough. I mean, they do seem quite strong. Like that. <laughs> I tried bending it with both hands. I forgot you can't see that. <laughs> but yeah, they do seem quite tough. So hopefully this will be perfect. And I have like um, small ones as well, like to fit five by seven prints. So yeah, I'm hoping this is a better option because it looked more professional than stuffing a bunch of cardboard into like a bubble envelope. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to package this up and it'll be ready to post up tomorrow. Monday today, it's 1st of October, so I'm just doing a Inktober drawing. I don't think I'll be doing the entire 31 days, just because I have two conventions this month, and I don't really want to do all of Inktober, but I'll do like the odd day, because I do like using brush and ink, so yeah, I'll do the odd day. Um, and this is the first one. I'm super happy with it. I'm supposed to be working on Patreon stuff today. But I want to do this. <laughs> um, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of practice for the Patreon rewards anyway because it's um, well, which <laughs> I just wanted to do this, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna ink it and see how it turns out. Um, I did plan on selling some original Inktober's for at, like Nottingham and up in London. Um, but I might just do like limited prints, I'm not too sure yet, but we shall see. Quite excited to ink this one, I nearly said colour it, <laughs> it's not, it's ink it.
so yeah that happened um I got a little carried away but I think I still like it <laughs> I, I did this for um, a summer thing for a patreon reward one month and I just really liked doing the swirls <laughs> yeah. well at least I, I filled an entire page so there's that um, but I used my winter and in black and white ink I'll just use the white for the highlights in the eyes because I forgot to leave space <laughs> so yeah that's Inktober day one um, I don't think I'm gonna do it every single day but if I have an idea of something to doodle then I will but I'm not doing one just for the sake of doing an Inktober drawing because I have a lot of stuff to do and I just don't have the time so yeah <laughs> Oh dear, I think I'm going to chuckle every time I see this page in my sketchbook. Oh, I also um, kind of broke my sketchbook. It's the covers coming off, so yay. <laughs> also show um, a little, the little sketch of this month's Patreon rewards. It's Halloween themed, obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm, I was really excited. I started working on this like last week because I got too excited. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm trying to do more, like, what's it called, dynamic poses, like, I'm just trying to make it more interesting, so, <laughs> there's that, but, yeah, cute, 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 and I'm probably going to do it in watercolour this time as well, so, yeah, I need to start working on Patreon stuff, because it's the first, and I want everything ready to send out on the 5th, which is Friday? Oh, jeez. So, it's, uh... Tuesday and I've just been working on Patreon stuff which oh I'll show you um, just finalised it a bit, put in, putting on some watercolour paper and that's ready to go but I didn't want to start working on it today because like I don't know, I'm getting a bit worn out so I was like I'll start fresh on it tomorrow um, and I'm going to start on this Inktober number 2 um, that's the first one over there <laughs> But yeah, just been just sketched out this, so I'm gonna see what it looks like when it's inked. I've not gone over it properly and like erased a lot of the lines. I'm trying to use Inktober to practice more loose line art. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. <laughs>
here's today's Inktober. I'm really happy with it. I like it a lot. Um, I really like how I did the nose, just a circle. But yeah, I really like it. That's day two of Inktober. So today's Wednesday, and before I start on the uh, Patreon art, I'm just going to do the commission for my $20 patron. Um, he's asked for his wife, who's a massive My Little Pony fan, to be drawn as a pony. So yeah, I'm super excited. I've never drawn glasses on a horse, on a pony, um, and I'm, I like it, it's fine. But she does like really nice eye makeup and I'm just worried that it's going to get a bit hidden by the glasses so I've just kind of tweaked the perspective a bit just so that I can see more of the eye um, she's got like a really wicked eyeline wing so definitely wanted to incorporate that and I'm going to try my best to do some eye, make on, uh, eye makeup on there that doesn't get hidden by the glasses so yeah I just, I just think it's so cute any excuse to draw horses and I am there so yeah Cool, I'm going to get started on this. So hopefully I can get this done today and still have time to do the witch illustration painting. So yeah, super excited. taking a little break from Patreon work and just going to do this little Inktober doodle. Um, I wasn't going to bother doing one today but I'm waiting for my commission to dry and I don't want to like rush into starting the actual painting for the Patreon art at the minute. I'm just going to take a little break and do this Inktober and then I'm going to get back to Patreon stuff.
little here is inked till the day three. Uh, I'm not as happy with it as yesterday's, but I still quite like it. I really like this cat. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's pretty cute. Anyway, I really should stop doing the Patreon right now. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Wednesday. No, it's not. It's Thursday. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> you can tell what kind of day it's been already. Um, I've got an Etsy order that I just need to pack up and I can probably post it out today but I really want to get um, cracking on Patreon stuff today because I want to send them all out tomorrow. So ooh, I've done like the underpainting so far um, but I'm like... <laughs> I never usually do this, when I'm excited about a painting I like to get into it straight away but I think I like this one so much that I don't want to wreck it <laughs> so I like I keep procrastinating on it because usually I would have left this and left packaging this until I finished um, that painting but I'm like I'm so paranoid that I'm going to wreck it because I don't know I'd bigged it up so much in my head <laughs> I don't want to wreck it um, but anyway, I'm going to package this up and then I'm going to get cracking because that's the last thing left and I hate being late for anything so I want everything to be posted out tomorrow. So yeah, I'm going to package this up now. the final painting. I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. I'll need to just tweak this little bit of the face. Um, just a little mistake but nothing major. Um, oh and I also need to erase those on Photoshop as well. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I've pretty much used 
watercolours, inks, coloured pencils and markers. <laughs> just because I just, I don't know, I just kept working on it, which is good. So, yeah. Um, I have used silver ink for the stars and I don't usually do that when I'm turning something into a print just because, you know, it, it's shiny and it won't be on the print. But I'll see how it turns out. Um, you'll still be able to see them, it's just... I like how it goes shwing shwing but um, yeah that's that done I've got to um, scan it in and do the prints um, but I think I'll do that tomorrow because there's not a lot of time left of today um, and I have some other things that I need to do but yeah at least it's all ready and it shouldn't take that long to do the prints tomorrow then I can post everything off so yeah I'm gonna end the vlog here so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!